we're going to be seeing a gain probably about another one to two to three foot pounds of torque depending on what we're looking at in the power band and it gained up top on horsepower uh, about another two to three maybe even four horsepower so there was some more positive change right there looking back through our data log let's check that out and see if we got any knock that's going to be really important when we're doing our spark timing tuning let's jump in here and pan back through and we have no knock and we can see that our timing now is at 24 degrees and that should be what we're seeing from our table here we can see 24 degrees so we're good um, everything looks good so far here so what i'm going to do since i did see a positive change right there it gained a little bit of power i'm going to go in and add another two degrees and see if that's going to gain any more power so and this time i'm going to go from column seven eight and nine and beyond so seven eight nine and ten I'm just going to go and increase the values here. We did see when we were altering our values in 6 and 7 at part throttle, by adding some more spark timing, we did see positive gains. So that signified to me here at column 7 for sure that um, I could definitely add some more to get some more uh, torque and get closer to maximum brake torque. So I'm going to be doing that. So 2,500, do another 2 degrees. We can see we've added it in there. Now, be uh, below 2,500, we can see that the table here is 16, 17, 17 to 24. Let's do control P. Let's highlight this control P and let's just blend that in. We don't want to add too much ignition timing below that, especially in the zero degree. It is definitely going to have spark knock occur. I can tell you from experience, so I stay away from that and uh, I don't add a lot of spark timing down here. So let's do our control U and upload again. Flip our throttle, control U, took that change. Hit F10 here, control L, clear out the table put it to gear and let's see if this made any difference and see if we're gonna get any spark knock. Let's put it into gear here and try this. Okay, hit F10, stop our log, let's take a look at things. Now looking at the dyno, saw another little bit of change in power, uh, looked like another about two to three horsepower, so it gained some. And the torque picked up uh, about maybe another one to two foot pounds of torque. So we can see looking from our first pull to now by adding um, a few degrees ignition timing, um, going up about five or six degrees ignition timing, we gained uh, approximately about eight horsepower and about, um, probably about the same in torque. So there's gains to be had by bumping in our ignition timing. Now let's look at our graph here in our data log. Let's take a pan back through here and uh, taking a look at this and we see no knock again so this is good 